Hey, 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 what's going on campers? This is Dustin with Extreme Lifestyles. And in today's episode, I wanna go over the brand new 2024 New Camp Tab 400 HB. The HB standing for Hidden Bunks. Let's check out this awesome camper that sleeps three to four and let me know what you think. Here is a Tab 400 by New Camp RV. This beautiful camper is only 18 foot, three inches long. And this one comes with a front boondock platform, a two inch ball, the seven pin round wiring for the brake controller and your plugs, a manual jack with a removable wheel. Here's a propane cover, a nice diamond plate cover protects our 20 pound propane tank with some storage inside. This camper's external width is seven foot seven inches. External height is eight foot nine inches. It comes with two handles on the front and two handles on the back, a spare tire underneath. Four corner jacks or stabilizer jacks. And this camper's exterior height is eight foot nine inches. All right, now going over onto our driver's side, we'll see our corner marker lights. Those run off our running lights only. And right here's all of our trailer information stickers and our corner reflectors. There's our air conditioner. Underneath is our dump station. Gray is okay, black is for crap. Again, that's the black for the toilet and the gray for the drains. Black for the toilet, gray for the drains. Right there's the dummy stickers, just in case we forget. Some side portal windows for the bathroom in the front dinette. Beautiful landscape graphic with the AM FM stereo antenna out there and the nice tab aftermarket wheels. 30 amp power cord and over here is all of our water and our water connections that does lock this is called our Nautilus there's a magnetic door here so in here we have the light we have solar ready satellite and aux outside shower we also have all of our shower intakes with there's which is our city water our portable water winterizing and sanitizing station Everything is easily, easily readable with the diagrams and you can tuck all your cords and hoses down through so you can still close the door. Then we have our furnace exhaust. Right here is our tent rail that goes on both sides if we want to put a tent or an add room on there. Onto the back we're going to see the outside propane connection. All LED lighting. Handles on the back, huge rear stargazer window, and all that solar up top. Now coming with 310 watts of solar. All right, now over on to our curbside. We go right into our outside storage. Inside of here, we also have our smart shunk, and we also have our battery disconnect switch outside shower connection, power cord, and our stab stabilizer jack handle. Right there is an outside table mount for the lagoon style bracket on the interior. And here's a couple 120 volt power plugs. Here's this awesome flip aluminum step. It's easier to open with your foot than it is with your hand. And when you open it up, you have that nice little light that pops on. There is a kill switch with a magnet if you're trying to figure that out. There's an outside amber porch light. And as we walk inside, we'll see this beautiful light elm interior that's now available for the 2024s. Dinette up front, beautiful accent lighting. And check out these awesome little shelves, also used for the stepladder for the bunk. Now underneath the dinette, we have our 12 volt power with our USB and round plug and over there is our carbon monoxide detector here we have storage storage 
and over here is access to our air conditioner. We also had 120 volt power under there as well. Bam, right there. Now we're going into our fan and our lighting above and into our bathroom. This bathroom has a nice solid door. Ample amounts of room for how small it is to move around, sit down, use the bathroom. Also, use it as a wet bath. Put that shower curtain up. Turn on the shower. We have a sink in the corner. And a mirror on the door. You also have a vent in there as well in the roof. Now we have our stereo that's USB compatible. Also has the HDMI and Bluetooth. Stream from your stereo, play a DVD or a DVD or a stream from your laptop. Now we've got our 12 volt compressor isotherm fridge with our little freezer section underneath the nice drawer. Beautiful full size drawers too. Little shoe compartment underneath there. Drawer underneath the bed. Queen size bed above here with the Froley sleeping system underneath acts as a moisture barrier or as a bed spring. Then we're getting into the stargazer window and the reading lights, the TV, extra countertop room. I'm 6'2", I've got plenty of room in here. Now we're going onto the wall and seeing a coat hanger, speaker, air conditioning vent, reading lights with a blue light or that bright white light. Going into our little nightstand with our accent lights. Also our battery heater. We also have a a little power inverter down in there and a 120 watt plug. That way if you have to run anything like a breathing machine, the CPAP machines or anything else. Now we're going into our beautiful kitchen area. Plenty of storage, all high grade marine grade plywood, heavy duty hinges. Down here's our breaker box and our fuse box. We do have a lithium battery in here as well with a 1200 watt inverter. Don't forget our whole underbody is all completely molded. We have a one piece roof, two burner stove here, nice deep dish stainless steel sink. This one does come with a microwave option with the cabinetry and the shelf. These all have the dual pane windows. This also comes with the screen door. And the map holder and garbage can on the door. That is the tab 400. Now I want to show you over the electrical panel and the master control panel here. Right here is where we turn on our lights, check our levels for our battery and our tanks. Turn on our air conditioner, and over here is our Aldi system. This is our heat and our hot water. Turn it on. Now the temperature will pop up. Oh, look at that. It's 51 degrees. Now up top is our temperature, so turn it up or down. Next is going to be if we want hot water, and then we're going with heat, whether we're going with electric or flame with the propane. Then we have our settings for our timers or whatnot. All right, now I want to show you the bunk and how that works. First, we got to take out the lagoon style table bracket. All right, let's speed this up. Then we took the tabletop, put it in the spots. You can see a couple pieces or brackets there waiting for the table to sit in it. Then we take all the cushions out, 
nicely set them wherever you can because that's the only way that we can pop this thing open then we flip up the little handle you can see the two legs pop right down for the bunk then in the actual bunk there's a board that we flip up as soon as we flip up that board or slide it over we have our cushions for the top tuck them in then we have our cushions for the bottom something weirded me out about having the window open with the bunk plus it was easier to see for your viewing pleasure now I'm just really trying to figure out the cushions this is my first time doing one of these in a long time but I did quickly figure it out and it only took me three minutes and three seconds to put this together bam there's that last cushion and we are done it's definitely not hard I am 6'2 and I can lay in there flat-footed for 2024 you can now get the hidden bunk or you can go back to their classic edition hey Thanks for sticking around and watching the whole video. If you guys like these videos and you want to keep on seeing more awesome camper walkthroughs, some camper comparisons, and some awesome adventures, please do me a huge favor and click that little subscribe button in the corner and keep on coming back for my weekly uploads. Thanks for watching.